Hey there everyone, I'm Dresden, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2022. Um, I've decided that we're gonna go to- I'm sorry, I'm just like, I'm seeing what some of these things are, because I just, um, for the first time, activated sandbox mode. We are playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 today, and I have- I want to do a little thing. Um, I want to start making more videos on this game. Now, they're not going to be a campaign. They're just going to be like, find a vehicle, build a vehicle, drive a vehicle. Sort of deal. Uh, not much editing, just time lapses for taking apart and rebuilding the car. And we have this little guy, which I bought from the junkyard. We're playing a little s sort of story, quote unquote story. Um, where this is our car. Of course, we have our other car right here. This is our actual car. Little Land Rover thing. Chef Tain something in this game. This is a Ford Bronco that we quote unquote is our car to fix up. It has a overhead valve um, engine, just a nice little V8 with a uh, one carb thing. Uh, and it's missing a lot of parts. As you can see, lots of fuses, lots of engine -y stuff. I made sure to get one that the engine wasn't too, too bad. But we do need the radiator, which means we'll need the radiator fan. We'll need all kinds of stuff. So as we go through this uh, series, we're going to slowly fix up this car. But what we're doing now is we're going to a barn. Let's go to a barn and let's see if we can find something nice to fix. Nice little car to fix up here. And if we find crates, we'll also buy the crates. I think this is the one with crates. I don't think 2018 had those. Um, because they can have extra good parts. So, here we are. What's this flashlight? I can turn that off. Okay, I don't like the flashlight. Uh, what's in here? There, I see a Hot Wheels bone shaker right here. This might be worth fixing up. Yeah, again, we're just going through, trying to find nice things. Ooh, a Camaro. Um, nice little things that we can fix up. Also, I have a lot of mods. You'll see a lot of familiar names, like there's a Bugatti EB110, what's here, DeLorean, DMC12, El Camino, Chevy Cobalt. I have almost every single modded car you can add without needing DLC, because they don't think I have DLC. Um, okay, so our three options. We have this really cool Camaro. We'll pull the engine, of course. Um, does not have the engine we need for our car. I don't know what kind of brakes our car has. Let's go into examination mode. It has some exhaust pipe parts we could use, some fuel tanks, all kinds of stuff. Plus, of course, the fuses, and we'll just go ahead and fix it up uh, with brand new parts. Here's our bone shaker. Um, I don't know. And then we have a Volkswagen Golf sort of looking thing here. I think that's all that's in here, the bone shaker, the Golf, and the other thing. Okay, I think we're gonna buy the mm, the Camaro. I think we'll buy the Camaro. Um, we'll pull the engine, and we'll get everything going with it. Let's go ahead and buy the car. Hopefully, I cut out most of me looking around. I feel like I did. Okay, return to garage. Now we have infinite money, so it doesn't matter how much money we spent, which is nice because that was seventy-seven thousand dollars. It looked like buy that from the junkyard just for us to rip apart and rebuild so that's expensive um okay well out here should be our car yes and we will first off move the car to the car wash and let's go ahead and wash the car so we'll do we'll detail the interior here so the interior should be nice and cleaned off now Right, yep, interior looks great, and we will wash the car. Washy, 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 get rid of all the dusty and the dirt. Ooh, actually, it looks it looks really good. I might keep this color, just kind of repaint it just to fix it up, because I'm sure we'll buy new body panels and stuff. I think that's all we can do here. Yeah, okay, we'll put it on car lift A, and we'll get her lifted up and start taking her apart. Maybe. Oh, I forgot you have to do this. You have to actually press the buttons. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this thing ripped apart. Enjoy the nice little time lapse. And whenever I am back, we will have a completely stripped bare 
body of this Bolt Hornet, which is just a, a Camaro, old like 90s Camaro. Um, but yeah, so enjoy the time lapse and I will be back with you in a bit. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how I see danger in your eyes They know we'll go down the night Come in just like the sun Alright everyone, so the car has been completely taken apart, everything been taken out of it, there's no more items, now is the time where we go fix some of the parts that we can fix, and start reassembling. Uh, but first off, I discovered this engine was a supercharged V8 DOHC, which this has a one carb uh, V8, but if I, uh, if I do this here, and I pull this out, and then I install, I can actually put the supercharged engine from that into here. Which is awesome, because this engine is almost complete. If you see part mount, we need the fuel filter, we need all the exhaust stuff, of course. That stuff you have to take off anyway. Um, but everything is done on this engine. So we just put a brand new engine in here. Except for uh, some of the stuff on the bottom, some of the crankshaft caps and that sort of thing. And also... We got ourselves from this, it actually, from what it looked like, a pretty shiny uh, V8 gearbox as well. So, I don't think this is the one we took off of this, but it, no, because it goes back onto this engine. And then, it looks like we can also install the drive shaft, which, that drive shaft is terrible, so we're going to wait till we get a better drive shaft. Or if we fix this one, you know, we might end up fixing this one, but... I do want to try and put a bunch of junky cars on here, cause parts on here, because I want to see how it runs. Uh, but anyway, engine's done out of this. So, that's actually, that's, everything is gone, which is a great feeling. So now we're going to go over here and fix it up. And we have ourselves a brake lathe, which can fix these brake cal or, uh, brake discs. You can see, it just grinds it down. And it repairs them. Um, and then we have... The repair table. Oh, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. Last time you just spammed it and hoped. All right, so all of the parts have been fixed and laved and everything. Also, I forgot we actually took body panels off of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put on, and move this to garage entrance A. I am going to go and find a car that has the same engine as this, and we are gonna pull the engine from a brand spanking new car. So we need a supercharged V8 over at Valve. Let me go to a car shop until I find one. All right, I went out and bought this. It's the game's version of a Camaro. I don't know, it's some bolt horn something or other. We're gonna go ahead and move the car to car lift A. And wait, where did that put our other car? I put it on the wrong one, okay. Wait, well, we're going to move this to car lift B. I wish it told us, like, hey, there's a car on there. That would have been nice. Um, now, I'm actually going to take most of the parts off of this car. Because I feel like that's a pretty simple way of doing it. So, like, the gearbox and the stuff that I have to take off to reach um, the gearbox, which is actually back here. It's rear-wheel drive. So, maybe the gearbox and eh, the gearbox will work. I don't know what's going on here. But, yeah, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah. We just basically got a car with the supercharger, which is what we needed. So, let's go ahead and get our engine hoist. And move that guy over to the Bolt Mosquito. Got all that out. That's the only thing we need. Oh, we need to get the uh, 
the front exhaust pipes. I don't think we need to get the manifolds. But we need to take the car down to get the engine out anyway. So we can try. And if we do need to get the manifolds out, then we can get the manifolds out. Um, I'm also going to take the wheels off this and throw them on here. Because I'm not good at sizing wheels. So I take the wheels off of other cars and put them on my cars. So pull out. Uh, drain the oil. Shoot. Let's drain the oil, get the engine out, fix up the rest of this, enjoy the time lapse. You guys enjoy the time lapse. I'll be doing all the hard work to do this. Um, and we will see you in a bit. And we have one more step here as you can see the entire vehicle is done this is the fun part where I find out what I missed when I try to leave the shop and it doesn't let me uh, we completely stripped out this Camaro there's nothing left in here just the outside so we're gonna go ahead and sell this we lost a lot of money out of it but that's okay um we have infinite money so Let's go ahead and fill up all the fluids. That is the one thing we haven't done yet. And then we can go ahead and drive. And then I can also see, I'll probably do it off camera, but I can see um, how well that their Bronco out there, how many new parts I have for it. Because I feel like I have a decent amount of new parts that I can put in it. Let's go ahead and dump some oil into here. I'm just going to send the oil until it overflows because there's no level indicator besides the uh, the fill plug, which we could actually be like, oh, and the dipstick. And we're like, wow, it's way over the max. Cool. Still runs, though. Um, okay. And there's our car. Um, we need to send it to the paint shop, I think. Actually, we don't need to send it to the paint shop because all the uh, painted parts are new are fixed we fixed them all up so now we need to slap an interior in it which we can do and we need to see if it's track worthy well this thing should be done then let's try to take it to the test track take the bolt hornet wheels are not aligned wheels are not aligned we have to align the wheels what uh, move to the alignment station move car to test path ah oh here it is let's align the wheels I didn't know we had to do this, so let's go ahead and oops, he's okay. Wheels are now aligned. Now can I can I go in here? I can. I can go in there now. Okay. Now I will take it to the test track. Test track. Test track. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It only took me an hour and a half to do, but we now have our 
Bolt Hornet, I believe is what it's called. Our old Camaro. Whoa, it's loud. Sorry about that. Um, it's got a lot of power. That's nice. Yeah! Oh, I've never been very good at driving in this game. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if it shows or not. Also, I'm on keyboard. And it would be a lot better if I could use my controller. Let me try using my controller. Oh, I can use my controller. Okay. The steering is weird, but I can use my controller. Boom. Okay, so it drives. It's it's quick. It has a lot of wheel spin. Uh, the wheels are too big for it because of the fact that they're off that Camaro. And the Camaro's wheels, I guess, were bigger. The new Camaro, I guess the wheels on it were bigger er, than uh, this one. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take it to Workshop Maps. Where should we take it? Let's take it to Racetrack. Yes. Pick car. This guy. Drive. Okay. Here's our car. Driving on a racetrack. I'm going to see if I can get a good lap out of it. I probably can't, but we'll see. Looks pretty nice, though. It's very, very loud. Like, incredibly loud. I wish the camera didn't do what it's doing. Nope. Stop. Don't do that. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Thank goodness we can't do damage to the car after we built it. Because, yikes, we would have... This would not be doing too hot. Uh, okay. Steering is weird in this game. It's a lot different than the other games I've played recently. Where it kind of holds the steering. That's okay. Uh-oh. Off-road in. Oh. Okay. Really off-road in. We're fine. Yeah, I don't like this camera. Or that one. What the heck? I don't like the angle of this one, but... I'll, I'll do it, because it's like an arcade racer. It looks... It really looks like an arcade racing game. With this angle. Jeez. That's cool, actually. Uh-oh. Okay, get back on the track. Nope. On the track. This track. Yeah, the track. There you go. Whoa. Don't get too happy now. Alright. I mean, it's driving pretty well. This is the first time I've actually really driven a car in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Besides driving ones that I had jobs for on the test track. So, uh, it's not bad. So we went and got this guy from a barn. Fixed him up. And, uh, runs perfectly. Runs like it's brand new. Because it technically kind of is. It has a brand spanking new engine right off the factory. We didn't even build it. Okay, well, okay. So it's a little bit damaged. It's a little bit ouchy. But it's brand new almost. Probably been sitting in a barn for years and years. That doesn't matter because it's brand new. Now. It's brand new to us. Okay. And then of course, if I can get it going here, we're going to get a nice little crash going. By little I mean large. Okay. Well, that was a, that was a great crash. Good job on the on the crash there, Dresden. Um, also, I put the wrong wheels on the front. I see that now. They're a lot. They're thicker. Um, that's not good. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and that bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload. Expect more of this game. It's very fun. Um, more building and stuff, fixing cars. And until next time, this has been Dresden.
on Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. And goodbye.